in the title game tonight. Mount Pulaski will try to make it a third team that has won the state championship of A twice. Now in gold, Lena Winslow in purple. The Knights of Providence St. Mel. This is for third place in the state of Illinois. Lowell Hamilton on the post low off the board. Fleckner the rebound. Don't think for a minute there won't be effort in this game. Bonnet saves it nicely, but Fernando Bunch is alone on the other end. Now they catch up with him, but Fernando's too quick, and he gets it down. Full court, zone press, 2-2-1. Joe Jackson up here on the press. They break it nicely with Justin Yeager in the middle. There's Jensen coming into the corner. They post up Kleckner down, though. It's blocked away, but Joe Miller tracks it down outside. The zone defense by the Knights. Fleckner inside Jensen, blocked by Terry Miles. One of the staples of the Knight defense. Hamilton, shake and bake, but he walked. He was guilty of that this afternoon four times, Frank. This time, uh, he wasn't really in close traffic. Something tells me there might be some wild flurries and some dunk shots in this game, a little of everything. Miller comes to the right. Both these teams like the game up-tempo. Justin Yeager's first try. Hamilton strong on the board. Bunch. Joe Jackson looks for Hamilton. Stop and pop. And Providence St. Mel has a 4 to nothing start in the game. Here's a near steal. Yeager in traffic. Needs help and is fouled in the backcourt by Joe Jackson. They almost uh, had the, about the seventh or eight second count there, Frank. Uh, they were having a little trouble getting down there. You notice there he's trapped, and uh, really the, I was thinking maybe they were gonna have trouble getting across on a 10 second, but he hooked him across the arm as he passed the ball off. The backcourt Bonnet having trouble, now finds Jaeger ahead. Jaeger's two on one, comes up and holds it. Lena Winslow looking for its first hoop, and Bonnet does that. Scott Bonnet knocks it down. A real good shot there by Scott Bonnet. Good move. Jackson comes to the right. Something tells me you won't need a 30-second shot clock in this game. No, I don't believe that. Fernando Bunch launches one. Fernando still got his favorite spot there, Frank. He's hit about eight or nine shots from at that same spot. Six to two. Bunch has a steal. Langston throws it up in the air for Jackson. It's tapped out of bounds, awarded to the Knights. An early start for St. Mel. There's Tom Shields, the head coach. Fifth year at the helm there. What a great record the Knights have compiled at that time. Bunch outside. They double-team Hamilton down low. And Bunch is hawked by Jaeger. Hamilton's free, turns and scores. Four quick points for Hamilton, eight to two. And that's how they got out in front of Mount Pulaski in the first semifinal game today. Mount Pulaski, of course, came storming back. Justin Yeager. Whoop. Justin Yeager is a tremendous outside shooter, Frank. He does a real nice job of shooting. He Got squares up. Yes, nice touch. Keep Langston in the corner right. Look at Bunch. They let him alone. Hamilton beats everybody to the board for two. That was six of the fastest points you'll ever see. I'd say so. Ten to four, Providence St. Mel. 4.55. Steal. Backcourt, Providence St. Mel, and walking. Good effort by Joe Jackson, but couldn't control the ball. Neither team looks like they're tired to me, Frank. <laughs> they're raring to go. You never know they just played a couple hours ago. They sure did, and they played hard. They have youth on their side and good conditioning. Jaeger slides all the way into the baseline, throws up an acrobatic shot. Mike Jensen goes after. Jaeger's got it back as it rejected by Langston. Now Langston has it. Look at the Knights fill this way on one. Joe Jackson. They run the break as well as anybody you'll see. They sure do. They have tremendous speed going down the floor. And Lena Winslow wants timeout with 431. Providence St. Mel off to a fast start. And one of your network sponsors is Langston. We're in the first period of play, and Coach Bob Dallas, Lowell Hamilton's off to a good start, but this St. Mel team does not run on one cylinder. That's the truth. Uh, Lowell Hamilton is getting the ball right where he wants it right now, Frank. Jaeger 
He likes it in the building. <laughs> Frazier along the baseline. Miller, watch Jaeger free. It's a zone defense by the Knights. Jaeger tries again. It's short. Who's got it? Oh, somebody. Let's see. I thought he was going to call uh, somebody grab the rim, but uh, let's see what the call is. He thought I think it was basket and right. goaltending, but it was not. He didn't touch. He touched the net, but it was not. The ball wasn't even in the cylinder. Okay, so he says it's nothing. And with 4:12 to go, the score is 12 to four. He did. He touched the net, and the ruling on that is Frank that if the ball is on the rim or in the net, it is two points. But the ball was not in the cylinder, therefore you just forget it. Well, it can't be a jump ball then, can it? Does it have to I be would Lena Winslow's ball out of bounds? I think it would be an inverted whistle. Whatever the profession of the ball was when he blew the whistle. Because uh, actually there was a no call and he made a call, so but he definitely he, he was trying to call. He thought it was a goaltending and it was not goaltending. The ball was not even in the, near the cylinder. Dick Lady, the head coach of Lena Winslow, is uh, having a talk with the official there. He is not satisfied, but Richard Green seems to be, and they're going to jump it. I think what it amounts to, when he blew the whistle, the ball was in air. In the air, it was not in possession of anyone. Lowell Hamilton's got it in his possession now, and he missed, and Jaeger rebounds. Jaeger on the fly. Jaeger a bounce pass to Frazier, goes through his arms, and a foul on St. Mel. Langston on the effort. Yes, he was pushing here on the pass. <coughs> he was pushing the man going after the loose ball going out of bounds. He pushed him before he could get to the ball. He held him away from the ball. Miller's going to try outside, blocked away by Lowell Hamilton. He leads this tournament in blocks. You, you can count on that. Bunch slides up on the right. Lowell and Hamilton's in uh, uh, right where he wants to be. If he can get the ball right there, that's where right he wants there. it. He turns on Jensen and shoots. Jaeger, two rebounds in a row. 135 he blows by two men on the right and he is fouled by Fernando Bunch that's a good matchup Fernando Bunch and Justin Yeager both of them have lots of quickness both of them real good ball handlers fine outside shooters Scott Bonnet uh, checks out of the lineup for the Panthers of Lena Winslow they got Kleckner back on Jaeger turns in some traffic, frees himself and shoots, and he's fouled. He's a handful on offense. Yes, he is. A foul's on Lowell Hamilton. Jaeger challenged him. You'll be able to take a look at Jaeger just yes. challenging the big yes, man. Yes, he takes it right to the big man, and the big man goes over the behind and over his back. Definitely a good call. He really protects the ball well in traffic, doesn't he? For no bigger than he is, what, he weighs 135 pounds? And the fact that he was not afraid to take it to Lowell Hamilton. Honor Society students, all conference in football. I was going to say he had to play football the way he protects the ball inside. I wonder if he's a wide receiver. I was a quarterback. A.B. Free throw. Bounces away. Frazier rebounds. Lena Winslow gets the shot up, but Hamilton's got this one. Up ahead to Joe Jackson. Wheels it underneath Beautiful. the Langston for a layup. Beautiful pass. Very good pass. Jackson caught the ball in the air and released it before he landed. 14 to 4 in favor of Providence St. Mel. And a whistle across the way. Ball's out of bounds to Lena, Lena Winslow. <coughs> the Panthers have uh, been in a scoring drought here in the first period. There's three minutes left. They need a hoop. Jensen's outside. Jaeger's inside, steps in, blocked by Hamilton, blocked again by Hamilton, two in a row, but has got a man again, in front of him. It's Langston, all the way in. Get a two. fast break, two on one. Four points for Langston, a little blood in the eye of Providence St. Mel here in the first quarter. Uh, that's what we kind of thought would not happen. Here's a wild and pass by the Panthers. I don't have a timeout now, Frank. Lena Winslow is going to call a timeout right here. With the score, Providence St. Mel out ahead by 12. One of his a moment ago, Justin Yeager was a running back. And they tell me a pretty good one at uh, 
L.W. All right. I keep thinking of the Lee Wynn Panthers. At any rate, I investigated for you. Thank you. We've got four block shots unofficially for Lowell Hamilton, and I wonder if he played football, if he blocked the opening kickoff. Winslow's playing a zone. They're trying to keep Lowell Hamilton from getting the ball in there, where he's been killing them from. Hamilton turns. Gives it up on the side to Langston and a whistle. Three second, Three second violation on the night. So the Panthers need some hoops. They're behind 16 to four. It's early, which is two minutes and 11 seconds to go in the first quarter. A lot of basketball and a lot of points to be scored yet in this game. Steal by Terry Miles for a pop that down. First deuce by Miles. And a big run here by Providence St. Mel. Lots of points. Another steal, this time a Hamilton. They're stealing off all the passing lanes right now. And they're really feeling it. Hamilton, baseline right. Touches short. He's got it back. Barges in. Two. He's it looks got like, eight. Looks like the Lowell Hamilton is out to prove something, Frank. That this afternoon he didn't play his normal game. Along the baseline, the shot is up by Bonnet. It's no good. Lino Winslow can't buy one right now. And a bad pass by Hamilton goes out of bounds to the Panthers. If he threw it right at, right at his feet, then there's no way he could put the ball. Dick Lady has had no choice but to call both timeouts allotted to him in the first half already, try to stem this tide. True sure enough, and they've got a whole quarter yet to go. There's no more timeouts. Miller on the left wing. And Frazier. Lena Winslow hasn't had a basket in several minutes. And there's one for Scott Bonnet. They were on four too long. Now a minute five to play in the period. The Knights with Langston in the corner. Nice ball handling there. Fernando Bunch lobs to the goal for the slammer. They just threw that up in the ceiling and Lowell Hamlin goes up and slams it through. Beautiful Lowell Hamilton's down. got 10 in the quarter. Bonnet shot. Rejected by Hamilton. Foul Lena Winslow. Just Goodness. Slapped that, just slapped that one off the board, Frank. Tremendous jumping ability by Lowell Hamilton. Unbelievable alley pass, pass right there, flat-footed. Watch but this. Fernando Bunch puts it right up there with the ram for him. He just slams it through. Those are NBA dunks, Frank. You bet. Coming into the game, 30. Kelly Lobdo for Lena Winslow. Kleckner goes out. Want to see Hamilton block a shot? Yeah, he slams it right off this. the glass. Right off the glass here. Wow. The rejector. Jackson on the right. Hamilton's put on some show in this oh, quarter. Here he comes again. again. Down low to Miles. Beautiful. Now he's an assist man. A beautiful assist for Lowell Hamilton. 24 to 6. 25 seconds first quarter. Providence St. Mel is out to prove that they should be in the championship game. But South there, wait a minute, technical foul. Somebody grabbed the rim. No, they slapped the backboard, Frank. Slapped the backboard is the call. Count the basket. Technical foul, but slap in the backboard. You can see here. Let's see, I think it's Terry Miles. Let's see if we can see it. He shoots, but he does not. He is not the one who slapped the backboard. Yeah. It's Terry Miles that yeah. slapped the backboard. Right. There's the hand on the right. glass. Good the, camera work, gentlemen. A technical foul and a ball out of bounds. All right, the technical foul is a one-shot foul. Right. A bench technical is two. Right. And Jaeger, he is about 80% sure of putting it in, has three in the game. And Lino Winslow now could turn this into a five-point play. Of course, somebody will argue and say he could have another three-point play, I suppose. Jaeger way outside. Somebody got a hand on that, and Miles tears it down. Look at the up-tempo game here. This is a coast-to-coast, -coast, another lob to Hamilton. He throws it across to Langston, and Lena Winslow has a man up ahead of the pack with two late. Time ran out in the first quarter with the score, Providence St. Bell. 79 Providence New Lenox, 80 Chicago Luther South, 81 Madison, then 82 and 83 Lawrenceville. This is 84, of course, and it's McLeansboro or Mount Pulaski. Fernando Bunch starts the second quarter. And Providence St. Mel stays hot. Six points for Bunch. And that lead is 26 to 9, and that shooting percentage is going to be gaudy when we see it. Look at Langston diving for the pass. Uh, this 
zone press, Frank, is really bothering uh, Lena Winslow. They're, they're, they're getting their hands on a lot of balls. They're not stealing. They're still uh, getting their hands on just like this. He, he slapped it out of bounds on the inbounds play. Doesn't look like there's quite the crispness there in the passes. Look at the stats. 66%, 12 of 18 shooting to 4 of 15 for Lena Winslow, 27%. Winslow had the only three free throws, even rebounding about even, but Lena Winslow turned it over six times. Kleckner. Lena Winslow in gold. Providence St. Mel in the purple, trimmed in gold and white. Bonnets in the right corner and double team. Jaeger gets by his man and shoots. Yes, sir. Justin Jaeger is just having a tremendous tournament, Frank. He's a fine basketball player. Don't be surprised to see him on the all-tournament team. He'll be there. Little tricky dribble by Fernando gets a crowd reaction, and then he slaps one up there and through. He's feeling it now. Uh, he has a circle drawn out there, and he gets to that little circle. He sets it up and shoots it. That's about uh, 10 or 12 baskets he's scored in one spot. 17-point advantage here. We're early in the second quarter. Joe Miller answers. It's a little long. Nice rebound by Jaeger. At least three rebounds along the baseline for him. Wild pass. Picked there off by Bunch. Three on two. Bunch. Jackson flies through the air. Rebound. The Panthers the other way. It's a track meet. He got that right. Get out the baton. <laughs> Jensen comes out. Bonnet goes low. Block. There they go again. Three on three two on, on two. One. And here comes Jackson. He tries again. He missed it. Battle for the board. Bunch shot. What a shot. He put English on that. Willie Moscone would have been proud of. English on top of French pastry there. What? <laughs> Watch the outlet pass here, and they have the two-on-one bright, and they take the shot and miss it, but Fernando Bunch comes up with it. A loose ball, Fernando comes up with it. Here it is. Now watch him spin the ball up and watch it crawl over the rim. It gets up there and hesitates and it crawls. A little French pastry for <laughs> Fernando Bunch. <laughs> and it's 30 to 11. Providence St. Mel sparkling again, as they did in the first game of this tournament down here. They were beat by Pulaski. Rebound Lowell Hamilton. He's got a dozen. And everything now is going the way of the night. They were beaten in the by Lawrenceville last year, and now this year by Mount Pulaski. They've been here two years in a row. Foul this time on the night. It's on Elia McGee, a freshman at 6-3 into the game. And Mike Jensen with the line. He, gives, he really hits him hard here. It was not the man who defensed him. Number 32, McGee, that got him. The man at defense did not foul him. Mike Jensen is uh, not a good free throw shooter. Averages 42%. Ironically, that's 17 percentage points less than he shoots in the field. And here comes the Knights. Jackson to McGee, charging. McGee knocked down Jaeger, who had good position. That's uh, McGee's second foul now in a matter of two seconds. 5.57 to play in the first half. Frank Bassoni along with Art Kimball and Coach Bob Dallas. Don't forget, we'll be here again next weekend when the AA schools are here. The Elite Eight it will start Friday at noon. Hope you can join us. Frank, it looks like that Lena Winslow. Oh, there's Scott Bonnet posted up inside, and he got that one over Lowell Hamilton. Looks like that uh, they have the press beat, and then here comes a weak side man and blocks her shot. I'm talking about Providence sent now. They just recover so well off their press. Lena Winslow thinks they're going to come back in this game. You can bet on it. Bonnet has it rejected by the big man. Hamilton again, three, three on, on two. two. Slide behind the back and a foul on Lena Winslow. Bunch loves to run the middle of that break, and they fill the lanes up. Why don't you take a look at this? Again, they move the ball out of the block, and they move the ball out. They have three on two here, and Bunch looks all the time down the floor, looking to feed off. Takes the ball behind his back, and he gets the threat here. Tripped, comes up and shooting. Well, it's still out of bounds. It's not the fifth foul yet. On team, uh, it's number one on Jaeger, third team foul on the Panthers. They're in his zone now. And a whistle away from the ball. Three-second violation on Terry Miles. He was posting up. Now 5-13 to play first half. Then good 
crowd throughout this tournament. It's a nice crowd here, Frank, for this first ball game. Bonnet goes out. Jack Frazier comes back in. 6'3 senior for the Panthers. They have the ball. They got to start their comeback. They go inside for Frazier, and he is fouled. Foul is on Terry Miles. Lena Winslow, Frank, has amazed me the whole tournament. I know you and I have, have talked about it, but they just refuse to be intimidated. They don't care what the score is. Terry Miles reaches over right here on the, on the defense and reaches over, and he hooks it. It's a good call. There's not many Class A or even Double A teams that could come 32-13 to 13 behind against Providence St. Mel, but you get the feeling that Lena Winslow is one of them that could. Yeah, they're just playing their game. You know, let the chips fall where they may, so to speak. And they're way behind, but they're still entertaining. Two free throws by Frazier. His first two points at the five-minute mark. Bunch dribbles the ball high, but under control. Fernando is only 5'8", but he gets a lot done like this. <laughs> Needle's eyes light up when he gets to that spot. That one spot, I told you, you had a circle out there. You get to that circle, that's his spot. I just wonder if he comes out here with marks an X with tape or something. I believe it. Joe Miller goes to the dead right corner and looks for Jaeger. Watch Justin clear himself all the way and shovels it off and out of bounds. Beautiful. Like this. He just missed the man. The man was open. Beautiful, beautiful this. So he's talking to Frazier. He said, I thought you were going to cut to the that's basket. Right. And he should have. He was going toward to go. 34-15, the Knights. Douglas Johnson, the 6'4 junior, who weighs 210, is in. And he's got the ball on the left wing. Watch him move. He's got good hands. Here comes Bunch. Ooh, they cover him. Fernando shoots that set shot. You don't see that much anymore. Douglas Johnson tries one. Nice rebound to Jensen. He triggers it. Lena Winslow looks to run. Still in backcourt. They clear it. Frazier, baseline right. Pull-up jumper by Justin Yeager. Wow. Nice reach pull away by Frazier. He missed inside. And Sherman, I guess, really got up on the glass. Joe Jackson traveled. Caught the ball and took a couple of skips. Yeah, he couldn't get the ball down. Can get it to the floor. It's got to be interesting, Bob Dallas, to project how good St. Mel may be back, uh, next year. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. back. Everybody. This uh, this will really help them for next year. When they ask, in a row, right? Yeah. When they ask, where's the beef? Is that St. Mel? <laughs> <That's laughs> <brilliant. laughs> Mike Jensen knocks it off the glass. Nice shot by Jensen. 34-17, three and a half to play in the first half. Good action in the game. Here's a steal by the Panthers. They're going to try to get another one. Jensen's up ahead with Miller. Oh, and Bunch nice spotted it coming. He's going to go the other way. Three on three. Watch. Great anticipation. I get for two. Feed. Bunch anticipated well down the passing lane and just cut it off. There's a lot you can say for quickness. Sure is. It covers up a lot of sins. Miller on the right side. This is Jaeger. That's Frazier. Oh, good rebound. Jensen, he marched down the middle and got it home. With Lowell Hamilton out of there, he's a little freer to operate there. Six points for Jensen. Posting up his mile. Turn around and shot is no good, but Douglas Johnson horses it in. His first pair. 38-19, Providence, St. Mel in the lead. This is for third place. The title game will follow immediately. McLeansboro will try to win 35 games this year by winning the championship game and be undefeated. Jaeger. Saved inbound to Fernando Bunch. They kept the ball alive well, Frank. Flapping it around to somebody. He wheels it to that. Jackson, charging on Jackson. I don't like to uh, necessarily predict not being a coach, but I like to look to this Douglas Johnson. Boy, he is a big, strong youngster, just a sophomore. It definitely drives, it just tries to drive to go right over the people here. Jackson gets called for the foul. That's There's right. timeout on the court with 2.10 to play. Providence St. Mel is leading, but Lena Winslow's coming back some. One of your network sponsors is Alice Dowler. With 2.10 to play in the opening half, Providence St. Mel in command right now, but it looks like Lena Winslow's got its game legs back. I believe they're, uh, they're still getting a good shot. It may get a lot closer, Frank. Bonnet comes to the left against the press. They get the hands in Miller and Jaeger against pressure. Lowell Hamilton back in, Bonnet shot. 
Look at the Knights come. You know, you like uh, Bunch. He's always looking ahead. So potential man to beat to get his head up all the time and bring the ball down the court. Of course, not all of you watch all the time, so we don't mean to be redundant, but remember, Providence St. Mel has no senior. Justin Yeager with a brilliant drive through the pass. He has seven points. What a good athlete. He and Bunch, just a great matchup. Inside, Lowell Hamilton turns, 13-footer. Yes, sir. 14 by Hamilton. 40-21. Big first half by the Knights. Jack Frazier, head down to the goal, batted away by Hamilton. He's everywhere. Lowell Seven. Hamilton just takes care of everything in the middle of the lane there. Seven block shots by Lowell Hamilton. Beautiful. Take a look at it. Watch him recover here off his man and slam it out of bounds. Beautiful block. Call that helping on the ball? I'd say so. That's helping everyone. You can gamble a little bit as a defensive player when you have him behind you. Frazier tries it off the glass, and it's two. Nice shot by Jack Frazier, his fourth point. Now one minute left, 17 points, St. Mel lead. Fun shot between the rings. You can bet. They'll try to punch the ball inside. Higgins on the left. Stack with Langston. Joe Jackson makes his move. 39 seconds. Hamilton holds it. Look how high he can hold yes, it. Yes, they can't even reach it by jumping up there. Flat-footed, he's holding it up there. Now he shoots the seven-footer and knocks it in. Lowell Hamilton. Lowell, Lowell, Lowell Hamilton is definitely Lowell. on his game tonight. He's hitting about everything he shoots tonight. At 16 points here in the first half of the big guy. Frazier's free to Jensen. Jensen steps in, rejected Here's again by Hamilton. Defense. Good this time by Bonnet. Good play by the Panthers to stay with it. 13 seconds, first half. It's got to be frustrating to get a shot like that block, Frank, and then come back to the next field, come back and next shot, hit it. Jackson missed, and a foul on the night. I think it's on uh, Sherman, I guess, 22. Five seconds. That's on Langston, 24. Five seconds to play in the first half, and St. Mel leads 42 to 25. There's Langston, just a junior, captain of the team. At the end of one quarter, it was 24 to 9, Providence St. Mel. It's now 42 to 25, but Frazier could cut into that. And one more. The Knights should be able to get a shot off. There's five seconds left. Missed it. Hamilton's got it. Does he know how much time? Bunch does. Three, two, one shot. It is no good. That's the end of the first half of play. The Assembly Hall in Champaign-Urbana in the Class A third place game. Providence St. Mel, 42. Lena Winslow Panthers, 26. And while we have that, we'll tell you about a new record that was established in the first half by Providence St. Mel. 13 blocks for their team in one half is a Class A record. 13 blocks by St. Mel. And Lowell Hamilton, who is 6'7", going on seven foot, is responsible for eight of those. Uh, he may only be 6'7", Frank. He plays 7'1". He really does, and not only that, we'll keep in uh, check, he may set the all-tournament, all-time tournament record for most blocks by an individual. All right, third quarter underway. The Knights in the purple uniforms take the first shot and miss, and Lena Winslow in the goal goes after the rebound and has it. It's Mike Jensen. Here comes Justin Yeager, and he's on the move. Kleckner's along the baseline. He got it in. Jim Kleckner's a capable scorer, and that's his first deuce. Langston tried to beat his man Bonnet back, couldn't. Lena Winslow comes out with some intensity here. They want to get back in this thing. Langston loses it off his hands out of bounds. Now the Panthers will have a chance to get the first four of the second half. Just when you think you have this game figured out. <laughs> Bonnet between the rings kicks it over to Miller now Jaeger tries 22 footer 9 for Jaeger it's only a 12 point lead all of a sudden it doesn't take long to get back in and they move it up and down the floor as fast as they are whistle traveling Providence St. Mel here we go 
This That's happened to the Providence yeah. in the uh, in the Mount Pulaski game, the traveling call. They had three, uh, four and one quarter there. At about the quarter. same time. In yeah, the third that's, right. Period. that's right. And I'll see Joe Jackson's going to take a seat. And 32, Elia McGee now 22. Sherman, I guess, is in, and Langston goes out. Don so, Shields is going to counter it with personnel changes here tonight because uh, he wants to keep a fresh ball club in there. And, and concentration, I think, is the problem right now, Frank. Fleckner comes all the way to the foul line. Nice bounce pass, kicked out of bounds by Miles of Providence. Also noticed on the opening jump of the second half that uh, Lowell Hamilton came down on a heel pretty hard and is limping a little bit. Inside, Jensen blocked by Miles. Add another block to that growing list. Bunting. Fernando bounces into the front court. He's so quick. Frank, they are so quick jumping. They're not only great jumpers, they jump quick. Bunt threw up a prayer. It was no good. Igus got the rebound, and he was held. Nice rebound on the weak side. When we say weak side, we mean the side opposite yeah. the ball. You notice he has him by the arm here on the replay. On what's the, the gravity of the arm. He can't hardly even get it off. I guess, uh, Coach, you'd, you'd want him to foul so that he didn't get it off in that situation. That's exactly right. I guess rolls the free throw around it in. He's 6'1", 188 pounds, and a sophomore. Not many people weigh 188 pounds as a sophomore in high school. Oh. I did. <laughs> and more. <laughs> free throw, I guess. Touche, Mr. Kimball. 44 to 30. Providence St. Bell and a steal. Right back they come. Good again. Elia McGee, the freshman. And he's all of 14 years old. And Art's got ties older than that. <laughs> I'm wearing one of them. <laughs> Here's a whistle in the backcourt. Foul on Fernando Bunch. And we've had a lot of whistles here to start the third quarter. St. Mel has a 16-point lead. Now the pressure is in the backcourt. Bonnet comes up to help, and Jaeger's trapped. Now the near steal. Bonnet controls. On the other end, Miller's free. Baseline, nice pass to Fleckner, but it was a little too hard, apparently, out of bounds. Frank, it looks like that whenever Lowell Hamlet's back there by himself, there's a man on each side of him, and yet by the time they get the ball to the guy in the corner, uh, Lowell Hamlet looks like he's been beaten two on one, yet here comes a weak side man to help him. Helia McGee on the right, rebound the Panthers. They kick it out. Miller's ahead of the pack. Can he go all the way? Yes. Joe Miller's first two points, 46-32. Lena Winslow climbing back. Bunch wheels it up ahead. Lob inside Lowell Hamilton. A little string music for 18 points for Hamilton. Lowell Hamilton, something else. They get the ball inside the paint. It's just Mark two. And so many players improve so much between like their junior and senior year. Can you imagine? Jaeger. Oh, that was uh, a goaltender. Yeah, we're going to call that one. It was on the way down. Hamilton got it clear, and he and Jaeger slapped hands. They both knew it, but Hamilton said, hey, I had to try it. He came from the other side to pick it up. Beautiful block. Except it's just like I said, it's coming down toward the hole, and it just reverts it. Great hang time right, there. Great. 11, 11 for Jaeger. Hamilton answers. He comes right back and gets him to. He just went down on the low block on the right, posted up, and jammed it in. 50 to 34. We're going to the five-minute mark in the third quarter. Frank Bassoni and Art Kimball, along with Bob Dallas at the Assembly Hall. Jaeger. Notice in the middle there you have Big Hamilton. Just the pro in the middle for him. The enforcer. Frazier shoots it over him. Didn't get it. There we go. Hamilton's got it. It's three on three. Bunch. Hamilton. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful feed. Oh, another walking. Beautiful feed by Fernando Bunch. Art, that ball bounced so hard off the back rim, you could have called the infield no, fly rule. Fernando Bunch here gives, it, a, rocket, gives it to number 44, Lowell Hamilton, and he walks with it before the, before the <laughs> shot. <laughs> I hope they have some extra backboards and rims here because Lowell Hamilton's tough on them. Bonnet looks to give it up. What a spectacular leaper. Miller, four and a half to play in the third. Third place game. Traveling on Miller's, he stumbled and fell. You know, fellas, there are two questions we should have asked Tom Shields, if I may interject real here. I'd like to ask them. Number one, why are there no seniors in the St. Mel program? 
And number two, did he feel maturity? Might have hurt his ball club this afternoon against Mount Pulaski. I remember his saying something about some dropped out and uh, some didn't have grades or, or something. Some uh, didn't come out. But he's got all underclassmen and yeah. offensive foul. His best underclassman uh, just committed an offensive foul. Old Hamilton knocked down Frazier. You'll notice that Lowell Hamilton starts to put it on the floor here. As he starts to put it on the floor, he, he puts his shoulder down. Boom. And it's an offensive foul, definitely. Good call. Look at Jaeger being hawked in the backcourt. Now here's what I'm talking about, Frank, right here. Yeah. You notice how they recover so well. Two on one, but the, the one it just doesn't is look the power. Good. That's right. Miller partially blocked out of the air and taken down by Hamilton. I doubt if Illinois has ever had a state championship team with no seniors in the starting lineup. I would doubt that. Lowell Hamilton has just set a record for all games with blocks with 19. He beat Walter Downing, who had 18. Downing had the record previously. Congratulations. And up ahead is Miller ahead of the back. Look at that. <laughs> Shot is up and no good. Nice weak side board by Mike Jensen. And one of the Knights went flying through the air and almost got that shot. Eight points for Jensen, 50 to 36. Providence St. Mel at 3.20 to go in the third quarter. Look how long Fernando fired from. Rebound, good by Miles. Bunch threw one up from about 23 feet on the right side. Miles rebounded it. You have great rebounding like that. It, it gives That's confidence still. to your scoring. Steal and score by Elia McGee, the freshman. He's got four points. Imagine that. Freshman performing that well in this level of competition. Has great quickness. And anticipates well, Frank. Jaeger splits through two. Great pass to Jensen. Sure was. Uh, make it to Bonnet. Bonnet got the layup. Beautiful, Pete. That's 10 points for Bonnet. 54-38. Eyes and tries. I guess not good. Jensen rebounds. And right now, Lena Winslow's getting inside position for a change. Look at Dieger. Handles right, left. Bounce pass Frazier. He's free. Didn't notice it. Threw the ball away to Bunch. There's Who can catch him? All the way. Miller and Jaeger try. Nobody. Beautiful drive by Fernando Bunch. And he had he had the pressure coming from both sides. He's a ground-to-ground -ground rocket. 14 points. <laughs> Got Justin Jaeger. Good looking athletes out here. Miller in the baseline. There's a steal. Foul of number 20, I believe. Or uh, maybe uh, 22, I guess, over there. Make it Frazier. Frazier it is. Number 20. He fell right in behind, hooked him from behind. Right there, undercut him That's on the shot. shelf. Right. Good, good reflex. There you see Terry Miles standing at the official. And going out of the game, Joel Miller for the Panthers coming in. Bob Werhane. We have a timeout on the court. Loblo's going to try one. Got it. The six-foot junior knocks his first points in. What's We're under a minute. point total now, Frank? 24? Hamilton's up to 22, I believe. That couple with his block shots and rebounds, you're having a pretty fair country ball game, I'll tell you. Say he's dominating again. Great numbers. Shot on the right wing is down by the freshman, Elia McGee. He has six, 62-42, half a minute in the third. Good-looking freshman there. Bonnet's free. Another block. And up and rolls it in. Scott Bonnet got the pass from Jaeger and put it home. 14 for Bonnet having a good game. 15 seconds. St. Mel may take one shot. Fernando Bunch. Seven, six, five. Inside Hamilton. Shot is down. Two, one, and that will do that. At the end of three quarters, the Lowell Hamilton show continues. St. Mel in the lead. One of your network sponsors, DeKal, Pfizer, Jim. And slam it, so he just shoots a little soft layup. Before we start this fourth quarter, I'd like to mention and say thank you on behalf of Art and myself and, and everybody associated with the IHSA Television Network for the letters that we've received from fans in 28 states, in Puerto Rico, in Canada, in Alaska that watch this tournament around the country and throughout the state of Illinois, wonderful uh, cards and letters, and we appreciate them and we thank you for them.
The team stats at three quarters. Lena Winslow shooting 43%, 20 of 46. St. Mel, 31 of 53, 58%. Free throwing, not much of a factor in the game. That shooting percentage is. Two on nobody. Look at this. Hello there. 32 is freshman Elia McGee, and I keep saying freshman because it's mind-boggling to me a 14-year-old is out here performing like that. Frazier. Outside to Justin Yeager. Well, he was a pretty fair eighth grade player, Frank, wouldn't you guess? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I imagine that coach smiled. Jensen lobs inside to Bonnet. He got it in, and he's fouled. Nice play. Bonnet's playing a nice ball game, Frank. That's about the 14 or 16 points he's had. He's had a good night. Nice interior pass, too, from Jensen. Watch him Beautiful. see him. Beautiful assist, and he gets hooked here on his shot. as He, he takes it right on up, but see, he comes up and grabs his arm right here. Now the foul's on Miles, and he comes out. And Douglas Johnson comes in. You don't lose a lot when you put him in. Got a chance to pick up his three-point play, and he does. That's 17 for Bonnet. Got to play a nice ball game. Really? 7.20 to play in the game. McGee's on the right. Fernando Bunch. Hamilton steps in. There's times he makes it look so easy. 26 in the game. He came out of a crowd that time, Frank. His shoulders help him move people. There's a lob along the baseline to Frazier. Starts in and stops. Jaeger, nice head fake, and he got Johnson to foul it. Johnson bumped him, and Jaeger went about 10 feet. He leaves his feet here, Frank. Douglas Johnson leaves his feet on the fake. There he comes up. He goes right on up, and he comes in his boots ready and under him. Oh, that could have been a lot worse for Jaeger. He could have. He could have raised up. <laughs> Almost seven minutes left in the game, and Jaeger goes to the free throw line. He has a dozen now in the game. He's a 78% free throw shooter. On the season, he averaged nearly 18 points a game. Two for four foul shooting. Snap the net on that one. You got to give a lot of credit to uh, Lena Winslow. They're not quitting. They're just going right on and playing right down to the end. I guess. That'll prove it. There's a steal by Frazier. He challenged yeah. Bunch, but the ball bounced off his foot and out of bounds. This is the thing that you had to appreciate uh, about these young gentlemen. They had a tough game this afternoon to come right back to playing with a great intensity again tonight. They, 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 you just wonder where are they getting all this uh, strength and stamina. And of course the emotional ringer that St. Mel went through and that heart bumper against uh, Mount Pulaski and here they came back out with fire and played with a great intensity and Hamilton's having one of the tournament's superb games ever. Johnson turns around and missed. And we've got a whistle. I think it's on Lowell Hamilton. 